Thank you for, guys for watching BlizzCon 2010 StarCraft II Invitational sponsored by Blizzard. I'm your caster, Kessel, and today we're going to have Game 3 between White Raw, who's going to be spawning as the blue Protoss at the bottom, and he's going to be called Duckload Raw, but his real name is White Raw to me forever. And he's going to be playing against Demaga, who's going to be spawning as a red Zerg at the top. And this is going to be on Lost Temple. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you saw any of the games before, they were really, really well played games. Why, or in the first game, Demaga going a very heavy mutalisk zergling build and expanding and expanding and just completely overwhelming Demaga or White Raw with the swarm. And then game two, White Raw coming back showing absolute s superb control of the sentries and their force fields and just completely overwhelming Demaga's attempt to overwhelm White Raw with Zerglings and now this is game three and we'll see if there's any crazy tactics coming out from both players. Demaga floating that overlord over across this ledge over here to see if White Raw is located over here but he isn't going to find anything. Meanwhile White Raw is moving his scouting probe to locate Demaga's base and he is going to be able to find him at the top over here and this is going to maybe be a long game because they are spawned from the furthest position possible from each other. White Ron now moving into base and Demaga getting the spawning pool and extractor. White Ron also getting a gateway and a simulator and both players content to just macro up early game. This is a rel be the beginning of the game. Demaga getting the extractor fully saturated. So we're probably going to see that early gas. And he is saving up that minerals probably for an early hatchery. That drone trying to kill off that probe. But the probe once again putting down that pylon in the natural. Preventing Demaga from being able to expand over here. Demaga, though, is getting a couple links to deal with this probe. Meanwhile, White Raw getting a Cybernex core once again, saving his gas and minerals and just waiting to get that Cybernex core up to get his Stalker. More probes getting pumped out of the Nexus and more links getting pumped out of the Hatchery. The links trying to deal with this pylon, trying to kill it as fast as possible so he can deal with uh, get that early expand and I think that probe is dead yes that probe is dead and the speed being researched on those links as well a zealot being trained out of the gateway and it's gonna pop out right in front of the ramp over here so he's going to be able to guard this a sentry also getting pumped out next by white raw white raw is getting ready to get another assimilator and a couple links starting to move out up in the front and Demaga leaving one overlord over at this position over here, but he is that overlord is going to be spotted. If he moves it just a little bit to the right, he can actually uh, keep his overlord hidden and be able to spot whatever comes in. Demaga starting to attack the gateway over here to try and take it out. And White Rod does have, get that sentry up, and those links are going to get forced away. Meanwhile, now that hatchery is starting to almost finish at the natural for Demaga and a couple overlords just flying all over the place. Demaga also getting two queens and more drones and he is continuing to drone up. Demaga this time going for a more macro heavy build. The Lings are kind of trying to and poke in and out but the White Raw is has sufficient forces to push away this small force of Lings. White Raw also got another two gateways, so he's going to be on three gates soon, and warp gates almost done. White Raw is looking maybe probably to push out as soon as that warp gateway is done, and getting that wait the warp gate just finishing up, and he's going to warp a couple units down. Probably stalkers, maybe a couple sentries actually, we'll see. Yeah, he, White Raw did get a couple sentries to deal with these lings last time. He did do a magnificent job using that force field to counteract those links and now White Raw is starting to build a wall in front of the natural over here at this choke. Meanwhile war links coming in but those White Raw's forces are able to push those links away. 
Damagi getting a lot of spine crawlers up front, and Damagi continuing to macro up as well. He's also getting the extractor and lair tech. And he is starting to fully saturate the gas over here. Damaga also putting this drone over here. Probably build... Uh, I'm sorry. <coughs> Man, he is getting that spire down over here. And he's going to start saving up that gas to deal with whatever Damaga has... White Raw has over here. White Raw getting a forge. Getting the natural over here. And he is going to continue to macro up. Both players deciding to continue to macro up. He's also getting weapon ground weapons level 1 at the forge and nothing really going on. Damaga keeping this li these lings over at the Zelnaga watchtower and this overlord is spotting what's going on inside White Raw's base. White Raw getting a lot of stalkers, a lot of sentries and he is going to start moving out. Meanwhile Damaga is going to watch, gonna oh he almost loses that ling over there but he is going to run those lings away. No longer having the control over here. A probe also coming in, and he's gonna spot a lot of spine crawlers over here, and that probe is gonna get just dis instantly disintegrated by those spine crawlers. The spire is almost done, and Demaga has 500 gas saved up right now, but he doesn't have quite the minerals to build that many mutalisks. The spine crawlers are gonna start poking away at those units but ooh, a force field actually goes down and that queen is completely blocked off and that queen is going to get taken out but those spine crawlers are going to get a couple shots at those stalkers links walking right through between the spine crawlers but they're not going to be able to do any damage to these stalkers the model completely blocked oh, choked up by white raw by these few units but white raw is moving his forces back now White Raw slightly supply blocked right now. He is getting a lot of stalkers though, and he is does have that Twilight Council up, so he's probably gonna get that blink. A Nidus Worm actually going up somewhere for Demaga. Demaga getting a Nidus Worm probably to put down it down over at the top island over here so he can expand. White Raw though is starting to destroy the rocks over the high yield, so he's probably looking to expand once again. Demaga just continuing to build a lot of spine crawlers, getting a couple mutas as well after getting that spire. And he is getting a ta flyer attack level 1. No more lings getting built though, and the nice worm is starting to come out over in the corner on this island expansion. There is no drone inside of this nice worm that yet though, but there it goes. One, more, one drone over here, and he has started to build that hatchery. White Rod is continuing to mass up forces, and now he is getting that Nexus over here at the high yield, and Demaga could be in serious trouble. He's going to be very, very behind if he doesn't do anything about this. But Demaga is getting both island expansions, and so he's going to be okay for now, but White Rod is just a lot of probes, and he's just macroing up, and he's going to be going to pull way ahead of Demaga if Demaga keeps this up. White Rod getting a lot of stalkers, continuing to get a lot of stalkers, and he does have that Nexus almost done. Getting a couple pylon, a pylon and a photon can up front to protect this high yield. And Demaga looks like he has gotten enough Mutalists to do some damage, and he's starting to move over here to do a couple uh, scouting duties. And he's going to be able to see the Nexus over here, and he's going to need to be able to do something. Starting to attack that Nexus from afar. Photon Cannon is going to have enough range, but the Stalkers are going to come in and tr push those Mutalists away. And those Mutalists are coming in, and then he's going to start harassing this probe line. And he does take a couple of these probes out. Stalkers do get a couple shots at those Mutalists, but they're not going to be able to do some serious damage. The Rhyroth just continue to build a lot of Stalkers. There's two Assimilators going up at the high yield as well. Mutalists trying to do some damage, but there are just way too many stalkers over here to do to be able to do anything. And the Mulus are gonna fly all over the place to see what's going on. Demaga going a very mutalist heavy. He needs a couple things in this composition as well, and he does have a couple, but he doesn't have enough to be able to overwhelm this force. White Raw moving all his stalkers over to the high yield. He is just trying to protect this place to keep his edge right now. Demaga 
does is starting to saturate the island expansions, but he needs to macro up very, very hardcore. And both players just kind of sitting there. The stalkers are moving back and forth. Garand weapons level 3 being researched for White Raw. So these stalkers are going to be doing some massive damage. That link instantly disintegrates against those links. These links are going to come in and try and attack, but they're going to be no match. White Raw continuing his movement across the field. He has complete map control right now. Meanwhile, a couple of Mulos over here are able to take out couple of these units over in Demaga's base, but Demaga, or in Wyra's base, but Wyra is now inside of Demaga's base, and he's losing a lot of units, and those Mutalists cannot fly fast enough. There are just way too many stalkers to deal with. That Observer over here just completely denying those spine crawlers. Those spine crawlers desperately trying to walk up here to try and take out as many of these units as possible. Those units are just getting melted away by those stalkers. Not having those links is a huge disadvantage. And Wyrock linking away any units with that superb micro coming out of White Raw. And Tamaga loses all of his mutilists, loses all of his attacking units, and I, I don't see what White uh Demaga can do. And now all the spine callers are gone and White Raw has complete control. And Demaga actually GG's out. Demaga giving being very, very polite. Good game, good luck, grats. Uh, and this is the end. So game three does go to White Raw. So he's going to move on to, I believe, the the semifinals? Or I believe it's the semifinals before the finals. So thank you guys all for watching. This is the BlizzCon 2010 game. And these replays are available on Blizzard's site. I'll provide a link somewhere at the bottom over here. So thank you guys for watching once again. I think I've said that before. And... Please subscribe to youtube.com slash castle gamer. That's K E S L gamer. And my voice is completely shot. So I'm going to have to see you guys next time. Kessel signing out.